hearing on a proposed fur ban in New York City drew hundreds of protesters outside City Hall. They included animal rights activists as well as people opposed to the ban. Freedom of choice! Freedom of choice! Opponents were mainly from the fur industry, but there were also members of New York's African American community who say fur is an important part of their culture. Some in the city's Hasidic Jewish communities have said the same. Nevertheless, City Council Speaker Corey Johnson says it's time for fur to go, saying it's the moral thing to do. I think it's important to talk about the real truth behind the so-called glitz and glamour of the fur industry. Despite their claims to the contrary, there is no such thing, in my estimation, as ethical fur. The bill under consideration would ban the sale of fur garments and accessories, but it would allow the sale of used fur. There would also be religious exemptions. Wearing fur would still be legal. We are not about to raid your closet. Los Angeles recently banned the sale of fur, as has San Francisco. But New York is the fur industry's biggest market in the United States. According to trade group Fur NYC, the 150 fur businesses in the city employ 1,100 people and take in revenue of $400 million per year. Furrier Peter Liakos has been in his family-run business for 48 years. It was started by his father, an immigrant from Greece. He currently employs five people. I got young people working for me. One's 46, one's 34, one's 37. This is what the only, only thing they know to do is being a furrier. And uh, without this job, they won't be able to pay for their home, the mortgages. Um, they'll lose their houses. Um, they can't send their kids to college. But even without a ban, momentum against fur is growing. Gucci, Chanel, Michael Kors, and many other designers have recently gone fur-free, embracing faux fur instead. A poll conducted by Mason Dixon and released by animal rights groups finds 75 percent of New York respondents support a ban on fur. Our culture has always uh, had to evolve with our values. And there was a time when child labor was legal in the U.S., but um, when it was no longer in keeping with our ethics, we made it illegal. The same needs to happen with fur. The mayor of New York said he agrees with the underlying idea of a fur ban, but he is concerned about jobs. For that reason, he said if there is a ban, he would prefer it to be implemented gradually. Karina Huber, CGTN, New York.